All right, this next song is called Fly Away Home. And personally, I think that this song is a great song for um, end of the year, graduating and stuff. Um, I'm not gonna tell you the lyrics right now. I want you to listen to the lyrics. And it's very true about any students that go through music or even at Addison Trail and Journal, but specifically music students where you're gonna accomplish so many things afterwards, but where you're always gonna feel belonged and where you're always gonna have a home is your home. And this is your, their home for the past four years. So the song is called Fly Away Home.
Before we start our next song, um, I'd like to do a brief introduction for our student teacher, Miss Margaret Ward. Miss <laughs> Ward has joined us for the past five weeks from the University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign, which is where I went to school. Um, Miss Ward actually also went to the same high school that I went to. She also went to the same middle school that I went to. And she also went to the same elementary school that I did. So basically, I kind of know her. Uh, I uh, worked at another school for a little bit, and uh, she was a graduating senior, and she was like, oh, I'm going into music. I'm like, oh, cool. Well, in five years, I'll be your student teacher. I'll be your cooperating teacher when you student teach. And then I just kind of forgot about it. And then, like, hey, do you want to be my student teacher? Like, I'm like, oh, yeah, sure, why not? So it's been such a pleasure to have Miss Ward with us, and uh, she is going to conduct this next song. Thank you. 
And uh, we'll give a nice round of applause to Miss Ward for already being employed. <laughs> Next school year, she will be the choral director and music teacher at Lincoln Middle School in Schiller Park. Let's give her a round of applause. All right, our last song that Concert Choir is going to sing is called I Sing Because I'm Happy, because we are all happy, because we are singing and engaging in music. There is an audience participation part. Please don't rush. Stay with us. Feel the groove. Feel the rhythm. Feel the rhyme. Here we go. Don't rush. Don't.
Hello, we are the Addison Trail Chamber Orchestra. We have three very amazing but different musical pieces for you today. And our first one is uh, one that's especially important in the orchestral repertoire. This is um, composed by William Grant Still, who was the first African-American composer to have their work performed uh, in America. And they, that work was actually, his first symphony was performed by the very, our very own Chicago Symphony Orchestra. So uh, definitely a point of pride for us as orchestral players. This is from a suite of, of pieces that he wrote for string quartet, actually, um, that's been adapted for a full string orchestra. This is the Danzas de Panama, and we're going to play the first movement, Tamborito. We hope you enjoy.
Right, so uh, choir folks might be familiar with Eric Whitaker. If you are not familiar with Eric Whitaker's music, he is a, uh, a composer who's still posing today, one of the, the greatest composers we have in the choral literature. And this piece is uh, a piece he actually um, composed in the band world, adapted for string orchestra. I love this piece because it features some, uh, it has a couple solos in it, so we're gonna feature a couple of our wonderful instrumentalists. So we're gonna start with the wonderful viola solo by Amy Aguilar. And then we, yeah. And then uh, Vernice and Maddie are going to be playing a cello, uh, little cello duet solo for you as well. So listen for those. This is October by Eric Whitaker.
play our last piece. Tonight is a special night. It's an amazing night, but it's also a sad night. Um, this is the last concert uh, for our graduating seniors. So what we'd like to do is we'd like to right now honor uh, those students, and we're going to introduce you to each one of our seniors. So we're going to have our... Uh, yeah. Oh, good, you're up here. So uh, we'll start with uh, Mr. Nelson. And when uh, seniors, when, when we read your name, if you please come and stand on the choir risers. And at the end of this, parents, this is the photo op you've been waiting for all night. Uh, so be ready for that. Please hold your applause till we announce all of our seniors. Okay, and we'll start with we'll give this to Mr. Nelson first. Enzo Cha Cha. Please hold your applause until the end. Julissa Cobos. We can practice the graduation one clap. Oh my god, yes. Eduardo Escarimosa. Bianca Garza. Delaney Gayon. Taylor Glams. Nila Lugo. Catherine Minago. Cindy Nakamuane. Nakamuane. Fernando Padua Antonio III. Yes. Kyle Parker. Nancy Perez. I love you. Rachel Petterbach. Angie Rodriguez. Adam Sackley. Jackson Regan. <laughs> Choir students, round of applause. <laughs> Seniors in the band, uh, once again, come up here and join your colleagues. Nice. Bailey Beyer, Sarah Bochuk, Rafael Ceballo Soriano, Manuel De La Cruz, Alan Espinoza, Abby Ficara, Michael Gamboa, Mia Chimetti, Amaria Hunt, Alicia Yoveres, Maria Martinez, already up here is Fernando Padua III, uh, Andrea Parent, John Pins, Grace Pranito, Ruben Ramirez, Suzanne Ramirez, Crystal Rojas, Gabriela Rojo, Isaac Silva, Dimitra Spiratros, Dominic Trendic, Leonardo Villegas, and Sydney Zhao. Ladies and gentlemen, the seniors in band. Uh, Mr. Stombrays. Mr. Stombreeze. We lost Mr. Stombreeze. Diego Renaga! Oh, he had to boot up his computer. Yeah, Diego Renaga! He's loud for the awkward silence. Diego Renaga. All right, I'd like to introduce the orchestral seniors. Um, or orchestral seniors, when I call your name, please stand. <laughs> Amy Aguilar. And then can you go for, stand and then go, go ahead and go up front. Matthew Burrow. Patrick Campbell. Madeline Ford. Leslie Garcia. Daniel Guerrero. Neela Lugo. Isabella Perez. David Peters, Ulysses Reyes, Emily Rivera Perea, Angie Rodriguez, and Andrea Serrano, and Daniel Zuniga, and Grace Mendoza. Did we forget any seniors? All right, seniors, get all all uh, all, all Ted in there, and then uh, parents, you will have 15 seconds to take your pictures. Okay, seniors are all in there. We're all good. 
smile, look face forward, smile, window, look like you enjoyed the last four years. Big smiles, everyone. Welcome to Fantasy Island. Only some of the parents. And then be sure to send those to me, okay? We almost got them all. No. Okay, everyone, please give a round of applause to the class of 2022. <laughs> class of 2022, please have a seat. Uh, back where you were, choir and band in the audience, orchestra back on stage. While okay, um, I want to introduce our last piece. This is um, just an amazing opportunity. I was approached. Um, by Sing a Song, which is an organization, uh, uh, Sing Me a Song, uh, uh, Sing Me a Story, excuse me. And this is an organization that um, takes stories written by students, uh, underprivileged students and underserved students, and brings their stories to life. So this piece you're about to hear was composed, um, and we actually have the composer here tonight, and he's going to conduct through this piece. This is a world premiere piece. This was written by two fourth grade students, and um, it's actually written with the narration. So uh, Miss Boise is going to provide us with this an amazing narration. And if you've never heard something like this, it's really, really cool. So it's full or fully orchestrated with the narration. And it's a really fun story, a really great uh, composition by Ethan Jankowski. And uh, you're really gonna enjoy this. So I wanna bring out Ethan uh, to say a few words about the piece and then we will send it. Uh, this where he'll introduce Japan and the old man. Howdy, this is really exciting. Um, yeah, I am also a graduating senior. I think they forgot my name on the list. It's okay, I'll forgive them. Um, but yeah, I go to school at Elmhurst University, just a little hike down the road. And uh, yeah, I was approached by uh, my old composition teacher who got an email from Sing Me A Story who then got it there. And uh, yeah, it's just been a blast. I've been, I've been working on this since October. Um, and I'm really thankful to uh, Mr. Stambres and uh, all you guys. You guys have done an absolutely wonderful job on this piece. And you better kill it when we do it right now, okay? Um, but yeah, this has been a wonderful opportunity. And I'm super thankful to everybody that's been involved. Um, so I really hope you enjoy Japan and the Old Man. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Evie. Evie has a sidekick named Puppy. Puppy is a golden retriever stuffed animal who loves peanut butter. She is jumpy, friendly, and can wave her paws to people walking by. Evie and Puppy have a secret. They have a magical portal underneath their house. Every two days, they go through the portal and are transported to a ton of different places. They love to explore brand new places all around the world, but of course, be home in time for dinner. Evie's older brother, Caleb, doesn't like that Evie and Puppy do this. You need to be more careful. You're only 10 years old, he would plead. But still, Evie and Puppy would go. One morning, they went to the portal once again, Caleb saying, no, 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 as he followed them underneath the house. Evie and Puppy stood in front of the portal and looked back at Caleb as he shook his head. They looked at each other and jumped straight in. Evie, Caleb yelled as he reached out to grab her. Instead of keeping her out of the portal, the portal sucked him in with them. Whoosh! It's winter. They are in the middle of the countryside and they're all alone. Suddenly there's a crackle. They look back at the portal and with a hiss, the portal shut. Caleb stares with his mouth wide open. There's a pause. No! He yells. The portal
portal had never closed before, so this was no good. But Evie was not worried at all. I guess we'll need to find out where we are. Let's start walking, Evie said as she picked a direction to go. I'm not walking. There's no telling how far anything is, Caleb said. So instead, he crept up on one of the cows in a field, jumped on its back, and started directing it down the way. and Caleb riding on his cow started passing by old farmers who spoke to them in a foreign language. It sounded kind of like Japanese. The farmers glared and spoke to them, but Evie nor Caleb understood. I think we might be in Japan, Caleb said. Finally, they found a city, but to their surprise, it was completely deserted. Fire had destroyed most of the city, with several buildings still smoldering. This wasn't looking good for their journey to come. They wandered the empty city until they finally saw someone. A strange old man with a long white beard. He was cooking bratwurst over one of the burning buildings. Evie calls to the old man, Sir, sir, where are we? I'm not telling you, the old man replied. Oh, you speak English, Evie says back. The man is quiet. So they wander some, and strangely, the old man appears again. Well, I do have something to say. I'm the one who burned down the city, he says. He tells them how the townspeople hated him for it and had them all moved away. But the thing is, it was a complete accident and he wishes he could make things right. We'll help you, cried Evie, and off they went to find where the townspeople had gone. This time, instead of walking, they all caught cows to ride. city camped out in the countryside. Evie told them that the old man was sorry for burning down their town and that he wanted to help them rebuild. The old man begged them to forgive him. The townspeople were hesitant, but after seeing how hard the old man worked at helping them build back their homes, they forgave him. When they were finished rebuilding the town, several of the townspeople hugged the old man. He had tears of happiness in his eyes. When from out of the blue, a magical mist came over the old man, all of a sudden the old man was transformed into Evie and Caleb's older sister, Ellie. Hugged Evie and Caleb tight. 
what's going on? Evie asked. Ellie replied, because I had been so mean to you two, I was cursed and turned into that old man. You were sent here to help me realize to be kind and helpful. I hope you can forgive me. I really do love you both. We love you too, cried Evie and Caleb. As they finished their hug, the magic portal suddenly appeared right in front of them. All right, can we have uh, one more big hand for Ethan and Miss Boise on that um, awesome piece of music? It's been so nice sharing this evening of music making with you. Thank you so much for being here and supporting your students on stage. Please, again, uh, make sure that you stop by the Commons where we have a wonderful reception for our seniors. Please stay, take some pictures, share some memories, have a laugh or two. We'll see you over there. Thank you so much for coming and uh, drive safely. Thank you.